What's up, Ham Radio? Radio? We're back. We're here with Big Baby Scumbag. I what's, Uber up, everywhere. what's up? What's up? What's up? You don't have a license or a car, True. so you don't really have an option. Um, all right, we're here with Big Baby Scumbag. Thanks for coming through. Hey, I'm you, glad to be here, man. I love LA. It's my second time out here. Ooh, what were you doing the first time out uh, here? First time out here, I was only here for like three, four days. I was like doing videos and like trying to record with people and shit. Oh, tight. Well, I'm we'll out. get to that. Let's do the intro first. Okay. We'll interview him. Don't Guys, we're going to talk about the topics of the week. Big ba- Baby's going to help us even though he doesn't know what the topics of the week are. All right. Are. The first topic is Wiki Drops a Tour Documentary. Wiki from uh, Wrecking and you know Wiki? Secret Circle. <sighs> I'm sorry. New Unfortunately, York. I New don't. York. He doesn't enjoy my laugh. If you uh, look back at the <laughs> interview, he, uh, he was like, "Yo, he's like, yo, he why does all- this fucking guy laugh like a fucking idiot?" <laughs> he didn't say idiot. Uh, Whoa, he, relax, like what he relax, like, yo, relax. He, he didn't say what idiot. Kind of laugh do you guys? Said, well, well, I got like a like pretty, a high pitched laugh, pretty annoying. and uh, <laughs> it's very unique. But uh, during the middle of the interview, he like kind of turned to me. He's like, yo, why you laugh like a fucking moron? He didn't say that. He's like, yo, you shut the fuck up with your stupid ass. Adam, Adam likes to like take out the internal anger. No, he literally just said. Why do you fucking laugh like that? Well, that's just as bad as everything I just said. <laughs> yeah, I know, you know, it was still bad, but uh, no one caught it, and I just like ignored it, so it worked out fine. But anyways, he's hey, a really talented rapper. You should have stood and, up, um, but like, what the fuck you say to me? You should like punk him. Break a bottle. Show, 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 me, a show bottle. me how you. What do you, you think, Joe Bunn, What do you think Joe Buttons would have done, bro? He would have emotionally broken down inside his head, and then probably drank orange juice with liquor, like he does at 5 a.m. every day. <laughs> Loser. Yeah. <laughs> That's a loser. loser <laughs> Dang. Okay, so he uh, dropped right, so Well, what did he do? He did. He, he went did, to uh, all the boroughs in New York. Uh-huh. All five of them. Can you name them? Uh, yeah. Brooklyn, New York, East New York, West New York, Bro. South New York. Very disrespectful. To uh, what? The boroughs? I'm not fucking culture. from New York. Anyways, he went to all five boroughs and he and they documented. Well, you name the five boroughs. Brooklyn. Uh, oh, damn. I thought, that's what I I'm saying. He's, he's trying to clown me. You can't even. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Bronx, 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 Queens, Queens, Staten Manhattan, Manhattan, Staten Island. And people think Harlem's a borough, but it's not. Yeah, it's not. What is that? Is it a part of a borough? Harlem is part of Manhattan. Ah. Damn. Yeah. See, I would have said it was yeah, a borough. Man. Took you guys. I got. I got family in New York, so oh, I know. Okay, tight. <laughs> what borough? What borough? Brooklyn. Hey, okay, yeah. that's where I stay when I got there. But that's because I'm a hipster. Um, all right, so that's that. I haven't seen it yet. Apparently, it's on. Uh, what? Who dropped it? The boiler the room. Boiler room. I can't wait. Boiler room's tight. Um, and the next topic, Gucci. He got married. Look beautiful. at look at is that acid up? Look how beautiful they look. They look so, so happy, man. It's, it's like Gucci. elegant. Oh, and you so know, crispy and clean. So all the kids out there, Gucci. this should be you if you just stop doing drugs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look how look how his life turned around once he stopped doing drugs. I'm Joe. actually I'm actually reading the Gucci autobiography and he he tells he tells you how he met her and shit like he met her like on set at one of his videos. This is like She's Oh, like was a video she a video model? girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh. she was a video girl. He met her on set and then like they went out for dinner or some shit and like they just hit it off like oh, that. Wow. Like they what? Got, This was like drugged out Gucci though. Right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That was like out of control Gucci do at they, that time. Do they yeah. talk about like does he kind of like do her dirty in the beginning kind of and then uh, she's just like Honestly, I'm not even done with the book. Yeah. Like I'm like right there where he's talking about meeting her and shit. That's crazy. I want to know cuz clearly, you know, let's be real, Gucci was a wild man. You he know what I'm saying? He threw a bitch out the car. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wouldn't call her a bitch. Out of I would say car. Uh, <laughs> a female out of a car, <laughs> out of a, uh, out of a hey, moving Lamborghini. Hey, remember what Pop said? What? On Raja's set? He said, uh, throw out the car like Gucci salute. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm just interested to see like what, like why did she stick around? I mean, clearly good move, but. She's a down ass bitch, man. Every dude need a down ass female That's true. like that. Which camera am I looking at? Every dude need a down <laughs> ass female like that, yo. It's if true. If you don't got it, you need to look for it, man. Um, they well. streamed it on BET. Wow. Every dude that was must there. have been the most fucking epic wedding ever. Like I said, I was trying to. Do you think to, it was, was a dry wedding? Uh, what do you mean? No, like of course we were getting fucked up. Everybody was there. I was trying to, like I said, I was trying to book Trippy Red, and the agent was like, "Oh, I'll get you an answer tomorrow because they're all at Gucci's wedding." That's tight. So there's like 19 old rappers just at Gucci's wedding. Yeah. I'm and sure. It was on it 1017. Yeah, they're definitely getting fucked up. That's, That's awesome. That's lit. You know the wedding was catered by Wingstop. It had to have been because <laughs> I seen a picture. It was a picture. It had Coach K, Gucci, and it had like Rick Ross in it. And Rick Ross was holding like a Wingstop oh, double yeah, cup. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. So you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know there was hella Wingstop at the wedding. Um, all the young rappers that come, you think they wore suits? Trippy Red wore a suit? You're asking me? Yeah, what do you think? I don't know. I think he. Uh, I don't even own a suit. I don't. I don't know. I literally just bought dress clothes for the first time like two months ago. 
Yeah, I don't fuck with it. Um, all right. Well, <laughs> I'm sure that letting was letting this letting was tight. Uh, next, next one. Metro Boomin tweeted. Uh, PSA to producers everywhere. Don't let Atlanta Records steal your soul. You know, yeah. low key, I feel like producers have always been underrated and like not treated with respect. I feel like a lot of times, like they make the song. That's what I'm saying. Like, you like rappers could be really dope rappers, but I mean, what? No one wants to hear an acapella. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, but no one gives them any fucking shine. Yeah. I feel like recently now, Wait, did you see this like, text? what? what hey, dude, say? who are some of the new Atlanta producers making fire at the moment? I'm gonna try to make a list and see if there's any guys I don't know at the moment. And then Jude said, "I'll put together something to send over tonight." Okay, dope. You have an Atlanta. We, you have an Atlantic A and R. Uh, I can't read; it's too small. <laughs> I thought you Anyways, read books, dog. I, yeah, not do you read different ass, in your head? Not fucking midget ass books. <laughs> um, no offense to short people. Um, yeah, Atlantic Records. You know, try call Quest said. They said, uh, "Can I kick it?" They said, "Record industry rule number four thousand and eighty. Record company people are Our shady. Eminem. Shady. He, they didn't say Eminem. That's no. not where you guys <laughs> name from. Damn, I'm tripping. Yeah. Uh, anyways, but I feel like producers are finally getting some kind of shine now, right? Like yeah. I feel like because of the tags and yeah. shit. Like nowadays, it's like when the artist pops, the producer pops. Like yeah. you know, Cardi got a. Pierre. Cardi got Pierre. Yeah. And, and like, popping, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every gar- every artist got their right hand, man. Yo, if I was an up and coming producer, I just put my tag every like twenty five seconds. <laughs> <It'd> just be <laughs> like, like, like a purchase your yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> like maybe like, over- I'll remove it. the watermark once you pay what, me. What? Maybe the tag could be part of your beat. Like it's part of the instrument. Give us an example. Do a beatbox. Well, you just kind of has some no, swing to it. I'm not gonna test. I'm not gonna test. I can't think of it. <laughs> Uh, is that the last topic? That was the last fucking topic. All right, well, guys, you, ham radio. Well, you big, mentioned big, big, big um, stuff going on. You mentioned what Slim happened? Shady. Yes, Eminem. Eminem. We were just talking about uh, his his uh, outfits that haven't changed since 2001. And, uh, <laughs> and talking about how his freestyle was not tight. It wasn't. I respect his effort, though, but uh, I definitely don't think... Uh, I, t- I tweeted, but I don't know if people got it because it's like an old reference. I said uh, Eminem did a great Saul, Saul Williams impression. <laughs> I know, got it. You know what? Shout out to his Fall Out Boy hat. Very current now. He's lucky the wave came back with the emo. You know what I'm saying? He kept the hat, kept it strong. It's a good look now. The beard. The beard uh, has to go. You, you tweeted... Slim, uh, Slim Jesus better than Eminem. I did, I did. Yeah. Wait, I did. what's up? Have you heard of like what has he been still making? Music? Slim Jesus yeah. is fire. Man. We did a I'm show with Slim Jesus. Yeah, he he's fire, bro. We had Slim Jesus and Little Ugly Man play on the same that show. That was very rare. And then um, Little Ugly Man did a backflip and kicked someone in the head. Uh, oh shit! Uh, <laughs> Lee, Lee Lee from Trash Talk was trying to pay people money to uh, hit uh, Slim. Slim Jesus. Oh damn, that's I was crazy. Like, yo, you gotta stop doing that, folks. He was like, "Y'all give anybody twenty dollars, and now that fades him." Somebody hit him. Nah, nah. nah. Did it. Oh, that was scary. scary. But he was already. Um, Slim Jesus was already kind of nervous, like yeah. coming to the show. Like yeah. his manager was like being super, like, in, like. And you have like, no security or no shit. Nah. I mean, well, he like, had, it was he like, had like three was, white dudes. With it was like him when that one. song first came out. Uh, okay, and he just okay, happened to be okay. in town. I was like, "Yo, we gotta get him to come through and do a couple okay, songs." Okay, yeah. I heard somebody took his chain or something like. That. I mean, I'm oh, not yeah. surprised. Probably. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what what are you doing in town this time? I know last time you said you were. Oh man, right I'm I'm doing videos and shit. Uh, honestly, I'm just trying to record mad shit while I'm out here. And plus, I needed new surrounding. Like I'm in Tampa all the time. I never leave the city. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like, I feel like I needed this break. You know, just a couple of weeks to just like clear my head and like be just in a new surrounding and work at the same time, of course. You Who, know have you been working with anybody out here? Uh, not yeah. I've been dealing with like Airb- Airbnbs and shit and like just dealing with that. So like my mom hasn't even like been <laughs> on music, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm here for two weeks, so. Oh, so you were kicking it with uh, Ned Arb, you got it? Yeah, he's, he's like Ned Arb, that's my A&R. bro, man. <laughs> Ned Arb will definitely connect you with people. Yeah, yeah. Shouts out to Ned Arb. I love Ned Arb, man. How'd you guys link? Uh, we've been talking back and forth on Twitter for like the longest, and um, when I finally got here, he was like, "Bro, come to my crib, like I'm play you some beats and shit." And like, what I love about it is usually I'll get plug beats in my email, and I hate that shit because yeah. like, because <laughs> like that's all I hear. So like, the shit just starts to sound like it all sounds the same. Yeah. So when NetArb started sending me beats, I was like, okay, this is different, and I like it. You know what I'm saying? And like, he produced a lot of shit for Black Cray, and I fuck with Black Cray heavy. You know what I'm saying? So I've been I've been a fan of Ned Art even before I started rapping. So Definitely. when he reached out to me, it was just like, damn, this is 
cool as fuck. Trying to see something that um, Ned Arp texted me about you like a while ago, and he's like, uh-huh. "Yo, check out Big Baby Scumbag. He's the next." And I can't remember what he said. <laughs> fuck. You know what? We're not gonna know. It's great, mystery. great, uh, great interview God tactic. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, it was so like a while I, ago, and he was like, "Yo, you got you got to check him out. He's the, he's the next." Uh, <laughs> yeah, I could. Yeah, I could see Ned Art text you some shit like, "Bro, he's the next big thing, bro." Like, <laughs> he's usually right though. Yo, like, honestly, a lot you of the people. I called you Gucci, bro. I'm like, really. Gucci. <laughs> I swear to God, hold up. Literally Here, two bro. nights ago, me and him was watching Lil B videos for like two hours straight. That's awesome. Swat. Yeah. Which Lil B Swat. videos? We was watching. We was watching Birth the Rap. Ooh. We watched Like a Martian. Ooh. Pretty boy, free, uh, pretty boy music. Ooh. You know who directed like a Martian? Cray Sean. Yeah, yeah. Swat, yeah. Swat, swat, swat. She direct. She directed like two of his videos, I think. She needs to do more videos, man. Yeah, Cray Sean's fire. Um, when I when I like first really got into Little B, I used to, like make girls. I was talking to. They come to the house and I make them watch Little B videos. Like, cause it was like before a lot, everyone like knew who he was. So I like try to explain it. Yeah. And, like explain what basement, yeah. and then I'd show him like the Ned Arbin or the um the uh, Nedwar. What's his Nardwar. name? The Nardwar, Nardwar interview. Cause that's a very important part to really understand Little B. Yeah. And um yeah. He had Little, Little, Little B video. Little B is the best, yo. I was at uh, I was at the Rolling Loud last year when he had performed. And like it was so crazy because I'm on the other side of the festival. Lil B is there's like four different stages, right? So my homeboy Paolo over here, he's 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 already at the Lil B stage. He calls me, he's like, bro, you need to get over here. Like Lil B, Lil B's over here. I'm like, oh shit. So like I'm running from the other side of the festival to the Lil B stage. And when I tell you like there's church music playing, there's like slow like organs, <laughs> like church music, and he's just like signing autographs and shit. That's awesome. Okay, it was like it, like I felt like I was in a movie while I was walking up. I was like, whoa. There was like a spotlight down on him, and like the whole stage was dark. That's it cr- was so cool. Wait, was this? Dark? During during the actual concert, no, nah, I guess or like, like he had, right. yeah he had finished performing yeah. and he was leaving and like mad people was handing them shit to sign. That's awesome. Like, yeah, I saw him like way back. It was like 2013 at um, Pay Dues. What year was that that he played Pay Dues? Was it 13 or 12? Might have been 2012, and it was like. Um, when it was like first, first talking about him, and Pay Dues is like a hip, hip, hippity hop kind of fucking festival. Yeah. So people were mad that little B was <laughs> like, why, why the fuck is yeah. little B on this? Um, but it was so amazing. So his like 20 minute set, he used like literally 60% of it. He put on this like melodic beat, and, uh-huh. he, was, and he was like, I'm the first rapper to make a melodic beat. He's like, I want to talk about, he started talking about racism and about, he, 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 like, he, he like did like spoken word basically yeah. for half of his set. That's funny. Yeah. He did more of that than he did actual songs, and it was like performance art. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta respect like he, it. He basically kind of just trolled that fucking hip hop ass yeah, yeah. crowd, and it was amazing. Yeah, the hip hop heads gotta respect it, man, because he can actually rap. Yeah, like, well, that was one of the things. Like when he did like the Joe Buttons disc, yeah. I was like, you probably yeah, still that shit's jack fire. off, Joey. That's my favorite line. Yeah, you bro. probably still jack off, Joey. <laughs> With, with your butt cheeks out. With, with your, your butt, butt cheeks, cheeks out. That's hilarious. <laughs> Man, Lil B is the best. Was he? Lil B was a big influence Ooh. on you? Hell yeah, it's my favorite rapper. Yeah? Biggest influence, man. That's I was it. just saying this earlier today, but like he paved the way for, he paved the way for like the urban community, like black kids, like growing up and shit to wear like Vans. To like, be weird. Yeah, yeah, and like skinny jeans and shit without getting looked at, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, like he made all that shit cool. Yeah, because even someone like, I've always said it, even someone like Danny Brown blowing up, yeah. it wasn't for a little B paving the way for it to be okay to be like urban and weird. Yeah. There would be no Danny Brown. Yeah, so yeah. Like, there would be no like Danny that. Brown. Lil Wayne probably wouldn't start wearing skinny yeah. jeans. You know, it's a lot of people he paid the way for. And that's another thing is he got Lil B got on a Lil Wayne track and anyone tries to get, especially that during that era, anyone gets on a Wayne track, they're going to try to do their best bars. He freestyled, wrapped off beat. Yeah, do my hey, thing, hey, bitch. Hey, What's hey, up? That's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. He probably just like walked in there. He's like, all right, let's do this. And just like he dipped didn't out. give like a, a fuck. <laughs> Thank God that he didn't try to like Sweat. fucking bar out, which he could have. Yeah, because like, we've yeah. seen him do it. Yeah. Anyways, Tampa scene. What's that like? Tampa scene is dope, man. Like, I just started rapping two years ago. You know what I'm saying? So like, everybody in the Tampa scene, like, I've been known about. So when I started rapping, I knew like I was doing something good when everybody in the Tampa scene that I have like seen before, they're like, "Yo, like you're pretty good at this." You know what I mean? You right, should right. keep it up. So I'm like, "Damn, okay, like I should start taking this seriously." But yeah, like Tampa scene is dope. Like my crew is called uh, a Scumbag World. It's like me and two other homies. You know what I'm saying? And my two other homies actually got me into rapping. And uh, how my name 
came up was uh, one was Lil Scumbag, and then my other boy was named something else. And they was like, yo, you need a cool name. So I'm like, fuck, bro, I'm trying to think of something and shit. So I look up to uh, Birdman, Baby, and Cash Money. So I was like, all right, Baby Scumbag. So, like, I tried to change my Twitter handle to Baby Scumbag, but, of course, like, some other kid is uh, that Who one kid. Who has, like, a fucking s- sexual assault kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skate- that little kid yeah. That little kid is named Baby Scumbag, so I was like, shit. So I was like, all right, all right, thinking of the sun. And then I put the big in front of it, made it Big Baby, and then cut the scumbag short, so it's Big Baby. Uh, old Dirty Bastard had no... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 He was yeah. big baby Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He was big baby Jesus. Shouts out. Rest in peace, ODB man. You know what? That's might have what he might have said. He might have said you're the next ODB. I'm the next ODB. That might have been what he said. That, that's. I'm gonna have to look at wow. it later on. But he definitely said you're the next something. That that's might, a, that's it might have been. That's ODB. a dope comparison. Shouts out Netar. That was man. like before y'all met or anything. He texted yeah. me this like two months ago. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, "Yo, peep this kid's music." That's um, crazy. Um, who should we look, like? I don't know because when you think of the Florida scene, you think of mm-hmm. like you know Carol City or whatever the fuck. Who's from Tampa? What rapper should we look at? Oh uh, man, you should look at Sonny Fritz. My boy Sonny Fritz is fucking amazing, bro. Like I've known him since like day one since I started, and he was one of the dudes I looked up to when you know before I really started pursuing this shit. Uh, Sonny Fritz, my boy Vinny Virgo. Uh. My boy Lil Scumbag, my homeboy Zila. He's not from Tampa, but he's from Tallahassee. But like we like this, right? Right. He's actually right there. That nigga right there. Oh word! With yeah. the Vince Sevenfold shirt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Yeah. Sunny Fritz, Vinny Virgo, Zila. Um, who else, man? That's about it. Like my immediate circle, basically. Right. <laughs> Do you think that being from Tampa is harder to break through? Because like South Florida is like. So easy yes, to break through right yes, now. Yes, bro. Y'all, feel, y'all try to go down there and like. Yeah, bro. It's like it's like Miami has their shine. Like Space Ghost per- paved the way for like everybody in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, Broward, all that. But I feel like nobody out of Tampa has been able to get out there, like like cross that barrier. Right. You know what I'm saying? Be like the spokesperson for Tampa. So I feel like that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, and yeah. like once I get my name in the spotlight i can be like yo check these people out they from the same city as me you know they on the same shit i'm on you know check them out if you like my shit how would you describe your style um bass pretty boy music flex music of course uh i don't know just get fly shit man like i made a tweet i was like when you listen to my music you're gonna gain gain self-confidence you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I want you to listen to my shit. Feel like you can walk up in the club bag like five bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. Like, just pretty boy music, flex music, swag music. You ever seen the movie The Mac? The Mac? Uh, nah, I haven't. Oh, that's a movie that makes me feel like that. <laughs> what's, who's in The Mac? Um, What's his name? Uh, Dude that was in the Snoop Dogg video. Richard Pryor's in it for one. Okay. He plays his right hand man, but the dude that plays the Mac, that's the kind of movie where you see that and you feel like you have tons of game. You could bag a bunch of females just from watching the movie. You know what? I'll watch like Max Julian. I don't know who that is. Yeah, you do. I'll watch like hella karate movies, and then like you ever watch like a fighting movie, and then you get out the movie feel like you can yeah. kick somebody's ass. <laughs> like the first time I saw Fast and Furious, <laughs> I, you go in the parking lot, everyone's just like, <laughs> like just yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. People yeah. Are getting accidents tonight. Yeah, man. That's Good. Funny. Those motherfuckers. Just, uh, no, I was be mean. What? kind of person that likes Fast and the Furious should get an accident. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Are you gonna, you're going to stick by that? Okay. Uh, I saw you tweet, um, game fucked up, people ain't who they say. That's Max Julian. Do you have... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Max Julian. Is it... Because we deal, we deal okay. with a lot of musicians, and, you know, they're very artistic and very... Uh, ego is a big thing, you know? Yeah. Is that something that you got to... Like, you have to deal with a lot, especially when you, like up and coming and like trying to work with people yeah man honestly because a lot of people have egos like we're stuck in this generation where like you know we still young and shit so we we just got egos bro yeah. that's all it yeah, is yeah, like right, it's right. nothing more than that because we haven't we haven't grown up with each other we didn't know each other from like our childhood we just now met each other like two three years into it you know what i mean it's just all egos everything is just an ego trip right. you know what i'm saying i try to stay level-headed like i don't i don't let none of this music stuff get to me 
Cause you know what I'm saying At the end of the day It's like You know what I'm saying At the end of the day It's like It's the fans That would matter sure. Not like Other musicians Like come on man Yeah When did you realize that You like started getting fans And like you're like Oh shit this music thing Is an actual possibility My mom is a teacher and she would tell me that kids would go into her class and play my music. Wow. And she she never told her students that I made music. So she was like, that's my son. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> and she, yeah, like, that's ha- that's been happening more and more for the past two years. That's It, it happens more and more. Great. And, like, now my mom uses that as, like, a vantage point. Like, she'll tell kids that, like, Big Baby is her son. And then, like, she'll really be like, oh, all the kids, all the students think I'm cool. That's and shit. funny. What did yeah. she think of the name Big Bo- Baby Scumbag? She loves it. Because, like, my childhood name was Big Boy. My dad calls me Big Boy. So, like, that's not too far from Big Baby. So, they right. loved it. They loved um, it. Speaking of uh, kids bumping it at your mom's class i also heard uh you tweeted that steve harvey's son's a fan of your music yeah okay uh i got a homeboy named raven and he goes to fashion school i don't know where of course but he goes to he goes to fashion school (laughs) and like yeah bro like steve harvey's son goes to the same fashion school it's like it's like fashion design arts all that shit right right. so yeah like he gave me his instagram and everything and i followed him wow Uh, (laughs) how old is he what's steve harvey's son oh man is he flamboyant i don't even know dude he didn't follow me back though so i'm i'm i don't follow (laughs) (laughs) does he have like a clean fuck fuck steve harvey yeah 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 yeah, like he's like 20 something like steve harvey is like what 60 probably 55 60 probably like I'm trying to get on Family Feud though. Wow. I'm trying Family to make Feud. that happen. That'd I'm trying tight. to take my family. If not my family, I'm trying. I'm trying to take them too. And then I need one other homeboy, two other homeboys, because it's five. <laughs> what do you think? So, yeah. I don't under. I don't know Family Feud. I mean, I know what it is, but what is the? Um... It's like you gotta. It's just trivia, and then so it's like you go up two at a time. Yeah. Like yeah. against another family, they ask what you a question. Trivia? It's all. It's they, all like, you think you'd be good at? It? I mean, you're pretty good at the five boroughs yeah. trivia. Hell yeah! They make a survey. They give the audience. A survey of a hundred people, and they ask yeah, them. They cool. ask them just like random shit, and then like uh, they'll tally it down, and then like there's a number one answer, number two answer, and then so and so. Yeah, so it's not really like exact fact. It's what the majority of a hundred people think the what answer. Kind of shit is, is that? Yeah. It's tight. It's been around forever. I never watched. It I yet. spent a lot of time with my grandma just watching daytime television <laughs> and like game shows and shit. So yeah, I, I know about Family Feud. I'm like a pro. All right, family big baby feud. Family Feud. Hell so yeah. what what do you have coming up? What should uh, let the people know? Uh, I've hell of it. I'm shooting the video almost every other week with this dude. Like, oh, where? I got I got a new video. I want to drop it next week. It's a freestyle that I shot with Nick Blanco. Oh, oh, like two nights ago We shot it on like you know, a Nick Blanco uh, yeah. Do they be hanging out With goth money and shit Yeah yeah uh, Wait does we, he rap on it Nah oh. <laughs> Nah nah He shot the video On like this oh, like this like v- video Yeah 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 He shot it on like This VHS recorder Oh crazy I wanna I wanna drop that Like next week But uh Yeah I got a whole Lot of shit bro Like uh I got a song with Polari Called Checks Oh, I want to shoot that video while I'm out here too. Oh, dope! And Have you like, talked to Polari since you've been out here. Yeah, yeah. He uh he caught a cold actually. Nigga sick and shit. Damn, oh, but man. we gonna make it happen. And and Cray, we about to meet up with Cray after this. Oh, is this. Cray in LA right now? Yeah. Ooh, that's good to know. Yeah, we about to meet up with Cray after this. So. Oh, dope. Might be able to get some shit in later. There you go. That'd be tight. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, fucking hey, thank you for bag. fucking coming yo, through, man. I want to make that Cray video happen for sure, man. Oh, for sure, man. I'm excited, yo. I'm gonna hit up Cray. He's one of my favorite rappers. Yeah, like I told him, I told him that when like he started to recognize me on some music shit, I was like, "Yo, like you're a big influence of mine." Like niggas were like comparing me to Cray at one point when I was putting out my first couple of songs. You know, I mean, he's definitely very based. What was the first song that we heard? The uh, wow, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my yeah, god. yeah. Oh wow. my god! Yeah. When we yeah. heard that, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 I don't yeah. even know the song. Well, yeah, that came, that's yeah. all you get here. That's we pretty much. Like, oh shit! This is bass. Oh yeah. my god! We booked yeah. him. He's probably played him like five a times. Bunch of we times. like, yeah. we love yeah. him. And he's a real nice dude. Yeah. He's been on here too. Very yeah. nice yeah. dude. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Very very fashionable. Shouts out to sick boy Rari. There you go. Shouts out my boy. All right, man. Everybody, stay tuned in. Coming through. We uh, got we got Lil Xan next. We're gonna have uh, DJ Stereotype get in the mix. Let's do it. Hey baby scumbag, follow him on on Twitter and social media and yeah. all that. Good shit.
Yeah, right. ham radio. We take phone calls. Uh, we're back with little Zan. Zans don't make you. Zans gon' take. I got hope. I didn't stay. I got we for the low. Yo, we're here with little Zan. Hey, what's up, guys? Yo, hold up, man. Shout out to Steve Cannon. Yo, shout out Steve hey, the Zan, Zan man. Hey. Over in the corner. <laughs> real shit. The real Zan, man. Uh, Real Zan, man. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How about you guys? Uh, chilling. Did you enjoy all the weird Kings fucking hockey people outside? Oh, my God. I, it's crazy because you sent the address and I literally live two minutes down the same street. Oh, crazy. Yeah. So I, I, I see all the weird shit happening yeah. outside of my apartment. It's like entertaining. Damn. So you're used to the fucking shitty parking. And- you hear that lady? So he lives on... I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I live on South. No. <laughs> no, I just got the place. So I'm actually pretty new to it. Oh, dope. It's like a loft situation? It's like a just a one-bedroom apartment over... Uh, I'm not going to say the name. I was going to say the name <laughs> of the apartment. Because yeah, I, I live down here, too. I'm on like six in spring. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm literally just two minutes down the way. Oh, if you want to come find me, anybody. <laughs> um, so you're originally from Inland well, Empire, Well, before right? we get into that, you said you went to your first ham two years oh, ago. Oh, my God. Yeah, like literally. Uh, I went to my first ham on everything like two years ago. I think... Was it the Keith Ape one two years ago? Well, there was there was two. There was a Keith Ape one at a warehouse. It was, was the warehouse one. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. That was probably 2015, actually. 16, yeah, two wow. years ago. Wow, yes. That was nuts. That Literally, shit was... It was insane. Yeah. And that was like my first real LA show. I didn't know what to expect. So I showed up. It was like a warehouse. And I was like, is this really going down? <laughs> In the hood. <laughs> yeah, South you know, I, I, I wasn't hip. But like, it was one of the greatest like shows I've still been to. The energy was like crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, it was wild. You, it was literally like that room probably fits what like eight hundred people squished together. Oh my god! And it was like cap, and I remember there just being sweat off the walls, and then like it, it was, was insane. Yeah. And that was his first time, Keith Ape's first time in America and yeah, in LA. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know, as soon as that itchy Ma shit dropped, oh. I like he had to already be following me on Twitter, so I yeah. mentioned mess, messaged him immediately. I was like, Yo, I want to get you on. So first we did South by, and then right after Austin, he flew straight to LA and we did yeah. the show the next night. Yeah, that shit was wild. I remember being on stage, and then it was like. A hundred people on stage and it just like there was like a fucking wave and I thought the whole shit was an like You know what I think was beautiful about it? Is that songs in Japanese, Korean, and English, and there's a whole whole fucking warehouse full of motherfuckers like rapping along yeah, to it. Yeah. Know. That's well, like beautiful. I mean that's like when rappers out here go to Europe. That shit's still weird. Yeah, because you mean like in Europe where they don't speak English? Yeah, like, like when, Russia. Yeah, like when I went out with Twan or Gavlin, like nobody speaks English, but, but they, they all know the, know the lyrics. That's hilarious. So I, weird, I thought yeah. like seeing that shit in America though, where like we're so. Um, That's true. You know what I mean? Americans are fucking dumb. Like, so to like see everybody like rap true. along to like some <laughs> Korean true. shit in a warehouse, like that no, shit to me I thought me the beautiful. same thing. I was like, everybody's really just rapping. Ijima. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought it was hilarious, but it was like it, it like it was my first introduction to like the LA scene. How'd definitely. you end up there? Uh, just a friend sent me the thing. He's like RSVP, and I was like, "That's so dope!" Like you got, you know what I mean? And then like I just went, and it was like the best. Like, and you were living in the IE still? Yeah, I was. I've I was literally living in the IE up until like a month ago, probably. Oh wow! Do you know yeah. our homie Speaks? Oh, I've yeah, I've seen Speaks. Yeah, I know of him. Yeah, yeah. speaks that from big, the IE. The big elegant hair. Really? <laughs> yeah, speaks from the IE, or he's from Moreno Valley. Uh, yeah, no, that's the IE. Murder. Here's yep. a tie-in. He lives the in Murda. Mexico City now. That's where your dance from, right? Yep, exactly. Have, uh, yeah, have you, you and Speak are cousins? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Speak might be related. <laughs> have you Have you been uh, to Mexico City? Yeah, I've been to Mexico City uh, to visit like all my uh, extended family. Um, but I haven't been since like I was a little kid. Yo, I bet you they fuck with you out there because oh I, I just God. went to do a show out there with Antoine and bro, they're like completely on with like everything. No, they that's, like, are. Currently it's, it's actually crazy. crazy that you say that because I have such a big Hispanic like fan base. Yeah. Like, uh, I looked at my top uh, places and one of them is Santiago, Chile. Oh, crazy. Like, where's your family from? Uh, my mom is was born in America. Um, she's got like a little Swedish in there. Um, but my dad, yeah, born in Mexico City. Oh, crazy! Because I read that you, I read that your family's from Argentina, and I read wrong. Really? Wow, that's weird. Someone said that <laughs> your research, Doc. No, I mean, people. Now, no, it's probably because you're like no. There's not because I'm no, Mexican yeah. also, and so, people think I'm Argentinian. Because oh, no, I read someone said that you, that your family's from Argentina, but you were born in Brazil. That is. <laughs> Yo, it was no, in the comments, it was in the comments Faking of the YouTube it. video. It was like in the comment of the YouTube. No, video the, we were, the, like, literally, like the comments on like especially betrayed. They've spawned so much fake news. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, people think my name is Alexander, and that's why I'm Lil Xan is because I'm Alexander. Yeah, yeah. Like. I think mo- more people know I'm Alexander than Diego. It's insane. <laughs> I don't know. It just started from a, it just started from a YouTube comment too. 
Like just someone saying his name's Alexander. I think I've seen people on Twitter say your name's Alexander. Yes, it. it Polari calls me Alexander. He know. Okay. He still know. He knows my real name. <laughs> he don't care. He knows Is my he real name. Is he doing it just to fuck with yeah, you? Yeah, he's this doing point? it to fuck yeah. with me. He's like Alex, uh, Alex. I yeah. need you to. He'd be drop like young Alex, young Alexander. <laughs> no, I love Polari, but yeah, he's funny for that one. Uh, I was looking at our um, Twitter DMs. Yeah. And I messaged you last year in December. Yes, you. Because Steve sent me your music. And I was like, yo, Steve sent me your shit. Fuck it, it's lit. I remember that. Um, I feel like you had 3,000 followers back then. I think I had less. What the fuck happened in the year? <laughs> Man, me and Steven, I mean, I, I, I owe a lot to Steven. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. But we just, you know, we just kept, like, uh, we just kept at it with the music. You know, we didn't let up. Like, most people, like, aren't patient. And I feel like that's why it never pays off in the end we were patient as hell especially him he's been at it too so we just stayed patient waited for the right opportunities and uh, a lot of you know a lot of luck definitely in the last couple months but um yeah i think it's all about just staying patient and just you know putting out good music that people can you know fuck with and so was there something that was like a breaking point because it's weird because i'm not just i mean i thought the shit was tight last year when i messaged you but, it was an overnight but, like, what thing happened to where now like what happened overnight i i dropped i think things started going well for me i dropped the slingshot and slingshot hit a million that's what did it yeah for you? It, it hit a million in like a month and to me i was like coming from like a hundred thousand to a million i was like oh okay like the people job, really man. like it <laughs> so it started you know it hit two million and then uh me and uh my bro cole bennett linked up to do the betrayed video and uh god that that video just went so viral like we we expected it to do good but not that good and it, it's still it's at 20 20 million in a month now Jesus and it's Christ. still going like Damn. and that's just youtube plays the, the other streams are that's 20 good. imagine 20 million people in a fucking room I just, even, watch, just I, watching you on i get claustrophobic <laughs> with like 20 people <laughs> no because i was great because when we were, when i knew we we're gonna interview you, i was like oh shit how does this fool get so many followers like i knew that you your shit right? was more popping and then i was looking more at your twitter and i was like oh it's crazy there's like um the Xanarchy Empire, Yo. and there's like crazy fans, and there's Yo. like I have with like Xanarchy, Xanarchy in their names. They'll be like Xanxiety Two, Lil Xan. Yo, yeah, it's mad crazy. Lil. There's like a whole shit, and it's like Wait, I want a Xan name. What would my Xan name? Zan, trippy man. Xan, <laughs> Xan Trippy man. Uh, Xan Trippy man. Uh, uh, anxiety it has to be something like that. Uh, uh, someone called me the other day. I saw him tweet Zampire. That's a good one. Zampire. Someone called me a Zampire. I was like, no. Wait, you don't. You don't do. I read a thing that you, you you're done doing Zan. Oh right? yeah, like I, I'm I'm done. I was like, I quit probably like six months ago. But oh, like, wow. I was like, I mean, little Zan. You know, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing Zans, uh, but it's just why'd it, you quit? Uh, it's just not healthy, you know. Especially when my music started doing like well. I definitely was like, I got it. I can't be on that. It's not yeah. healthy. It doesn't put you in a healthy state of mind. I agree. Did you go I through withdrawal trying to kick it? Withdrawals it from uh, opiates, benzos. I was, ugh, I was in the hospital like once every two weeks from it. Wow. Like it was so bad. So yeah, it's uh, not easy to kick. No. So I was like, you know, this ain't fun. So I just got off it. Uh, kind of went cold turkey. You're not supposed to do that. But um. It worked out. I'm happy. Yeah, usually you take like Suboxone or some weird or shit. Or just taper off of it or something. But don't, yeah. don't people get addicted to Suboxone yeah, also? Yeah, like, It's just like, okay, True. I'm going to just switch off the fucking... Yeah, to heroin that doesn't get you <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's some heavy duty shit. It That's does crazy. Is. Do you uh, feel like Xanax would make you creative though? Uh, It it makes me creative, but I really don't think I need it to be creative anymore. I thought for a minute that I needed it to be creative, but I definitely didn't what ha- wasn't on Zans when I made Betrayed or like all that stuff. See, because like, I think a misconception a lot of people have when they're like doing drugs yeah. is they think, oh, it's the only way I could be creative. Is they need drugs? It's like, yeah. Nah. You know, like I like weed. <laughs> I always be smoking <laughs> weed all the time, and that's fine. That's enough uh, creativity for me. But I guess like to each their own. You know, if it does truly help someone, props, but not me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's good that you um, voice that you don't do Xanax. I, I, yeah, I, because I, like I that shit is really fucking. Whack. I definitely think it's it's, pl- it's, it's, pl- it's, it's plaguing the fucking scene because we did an interview. I won't say who, but uh, this was in the Dash Radio days, and he literally during the interview was like eating a cookie. Do you remember he just had hella crumbs on his like bottom <laughs> lip? Sitting, fucking like his eyes were rolling. I was like, Yo, he's yeah, that's not a good look, man. 
You know, but that I, not yeah, fly. I can't even imagine. I've seen other people off here. I don't even want to know what I look like. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, uh, shout out Janelle Michelle. She said, thank you for talking to me on Xbox today. You're such a nice person. Yes. Thank you. Well, I told you, bro. <laughs> I, just, I just hooked up the Xbox and I've been like uh, fucking with my fans on it. And yeah. I, I love it. They're like the coolest people on the Xbox. Are you a big uh, on gaming and shit? I used to be painfully addicted to video games. Yeah. Like wake up video games go to sleep like not even eat so uh but i, I was high school yeah, yeah like, i mean have you, you, you gotta get on, your, get on your twitch shit yeah i, mean, I was gonna say oh, the twitch stream, is yeah. money, dog. such yeah. a huge fucking wow like, there's world. money to be made no, twitch. I, I don't know anything about it why was yeah. i thinking same, about that same. earlier i was like i need to start twitch but i wasn't even thinking of the money possibility of dog you should definitely, definitely start twitch yeah. yeah i mean i feel like a lot of like i know a girl that's like mad kicked up off, uh, off of Twitch, twitch. twitching it, doing Twitch on games. That's insane. I'm Damn, you be getting shit. hella interact. This is like one of the most interactions you be getting online. Uh, what kind of stuff are they YouTube. asking or saying? Everyone is like, uh, <laughs> how, can, how can you notice me, little Zan Lit? Jesus, uh, hearts, hearts, hearts. I love broken them. hearts. Oh, the broken heart. What's uh, the broken heart about? Are you it's getting- just my aesthetic? You know, I just got this one too. Like, oh yeah, what'd your mom think when you got the candy I tattoo? Awesome. Yes. My mom was super supportive. Was she like, okay? I mean, the reason I got, <laughs> I got heart this I'm not okay. Yes. That's kind of the same. See, same. He's on the same way. <laughs> you're Xanarchy. Me, lady. You're same Xanarchy. <laughs> no, um, uh, my first tattoo was the candy on my face, and I got it because I was like, well, my mom can't be mad if it's yeah. Name. That was your first tattoo ever. Yeah, it was the uh, no? Actually, this one was just this uh, no face from Spirited Away. But um, the candy was right after, and I was like, well, if I'm going to get a face tat, my mom's going to kill me. So what what can I do? Oh, yeah. I'll get her name. You know what I mean? That's she right. likes it? Yeah, she loved it. My parents have always been it's so serious. supportive. My cousin was the same way. He like was fully tatted, and his parents were like fucking super pissed. But then he got ended up getting a big-ass portrait of both of them on his chest. Okay. And then, yes. and then they were like... My mom like, okay, does the fine. same exact <laughs> thing. So I had hella tattoos, and then I got... Um, yeah mom nice. and now whenever like she's with her friend she's like look what look at this like, yeah, she, like exactly, shows him and shit. exactly yeah it's like the same thing it's yeah. the same thing that's funny parents are hella funny what was the last tattoo you got uh the another heartbreak, the heartbreak. in 96 they're healing right now but yeah the 96 what's your hand say oh do not be overcome by evil <laughs> what's that from uh that was one of the earlier tattoos it was just something i thought uh i read it somewhere i don't even know it was like a random page in a book and i was like okay i did it <laughs> That's a lot of my weird. tattoos have kind of been like just spur of the moment stuff, like fuck off, <laughs> all that stuff. I don't have a lot though. And it's all pretty much words. Yeah, I, I've kind of, I kind of like the word thing, like yeah. I don't know, and like the spacing it, you know, like yeah, I yeah. like a sleeve. It's kind of like a book. I'm like, yeah. like, like um, book yeah. I'm like not into visual art, but I'm really into words. Like I like songs yeah. and and reading and stuff like that. So all my tattoos, they also all have words on them because I don't know how to like express myself. It's yeah. Just like, and no, I, pictures. So it needs to have like a word with it. Yeah. To like describe it. I don't know why. I think just the whole like like little tattoos and just having them everywhere. It's like a story. Like I'm like right. I, I, that got that that day or when that happened. You know. So that's kind of like. What have I'm, you ever watched Memento? No. What's that? Bro, it's tight. It's this dude who forgets his. You like it. He forgets yeah. his uh, memory completely. And the whole movie is him trying to figure out who killed his wife. wife his wife. Ooh. But to remember shit, when something happens, he'll yeah, tat it. it on he'll tattoo body. it on his body. So, whole body has like so, a, once he, so he remembers it. Yes, yeah, yeah. but oh, at that one moment he's he, trying to solve this murder. This murder. Yeah. Yeah. So his whole body just he takes off notes. his shirt at one. Yeah, and it's all it's all text just on his knows. whole entire and everything's backwards. So when he's in a mirror, he can see. You said like you say it was Memento. 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 It's dope. Yeah. It's a crazy movie, bro. I'm gonna definitely look it up. Definitely plot twist. Plot twist alert. That's like one of the biggest plot twists. Yeah, I'm taking a page. I'm taking a page out of his book then with my tattoos. What um, is your next anxiety? Uh, yeah, anxiety. You get a lot of anxiety. Uh, I used to. I was hospitalized for like a week, and I didn't know what was wrong with me. And then they did a spinal tap, all this unnecessary shit. And at the end of the week, they gave me like a little Ativan, and it just put me at ease. And I, they're like, "Oh, you have anxiety, like really bad." So like, I've I've struggled with anxiety my whole life, but right now it's the it's under control. Like it's the best it's ever been. What are you doing to keep it under control? Just, I learned to just, you know, it's all like a mind game. So I just learned to like, if I'm, you know, having trouble breathing or something, I just try to calm myself down, like meditate or something. You never looked into taking like medication that's not head changing uh, like Xanax? I was, Xanax? wasn't like Zoloft and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. I tried, I don't really like that stuff. It, it makes me feel weird and stuff. But, um, no, I think I could really handle it without all the medication. Right. But the Ativan is what led me to Xanax, to be yeah. real. Oh, wow. Just, yeah, people get high, high on Ativan, too. Yeah, it's the same. I mean, it's a lower, but it's like yeah. the same. Uh, it's a benzo. So it's like... 
It's bad. Uh, before Little Xan, you were baby Nyquil. Yes. <laughs> Did you have? Oh, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any other uh, names before baby Nyquil? Nah, it was. Uh, no, nah, I didn't. It was baby Nyquil. Wait, Steve, did you come up with that? Bro, we did that uh, walking in South by. You did that walking, yeah. We for like two, by, yeah. yeah, two years ago South by. Uh, they were just like baby Nyquil, and I was like, I was a photographer, so I was like, fuck it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was another thing I wanted to talk to yeah. you about. So you you started rapping because your your camera got stolen. Yes. And then uh, you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna start rapping. Yes. Uh, so do you think if that camera didn't get stolen, you would have pers- kept pursuing photography? I, I want to think like I always maybe would have became a rapper just because I was hanging out with Steve and a bunch of other rappers. But like things might not have played the right way, you know. Yeah. Um, I think everything happened at the perfect time. I was devastated when uh, my camera got stolen. But now I'm like, thank you. Whoever has that camera, you keep that, <laughs> frame it, because that's the reason that I, I started rapping. It was only twenty dollars to start rapping. Damn. Crazy. Yeah, the camera was like two thousand. So, it was like. What were you doing in South by? Uh, what were you all doing out there. It was 2016. Uh, 2016. What were we doing? We was like. Did y'all come to Ham? Uh, oh yeah, we went to the Ham. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, um, we went to the Ham. What was it? It was like the one with like uh. Lambs was on it. Uh, Uzi, you had Cardi. Oh, that was, a two, oh, that two was the best ago. one. Yeah, that's we had yeah. 21 Savage. We 21 had Savage. Bird, when he was, yeah, yeah, little when little he yeah, when he was Yachty. Yeah, like Waka. everybody. Like, I was on the little side part, just like, wow, this is amazing. Right Waka Flocka. Right, right before they all got out of my price bracket. <laughs> I know. I it seems book, like everybody. None of them now. You, like, 21 was just coming up. Like, oh, y'all yeah. got 21 at, the, like, at the prime time. That but whole lineup was, like, really, it was like, insane. two months before. And, like, you know, and, like, South by being kind of place for free. Like, that was really lucky. Y'all predicted did like literally so many careers like at that show appreciate that that was yeah. lucky it was a dope show Yo, um, speaking see. of insomniac lambs and uh rari i mean we didn't speak of rari but speaking of <laughs> you got it you got it you're gonna, it. gonna bring them out on your show oh yeah saturday yeah it's uh the show is me steven uh lambs and rari i really fuck with the, them and their music they're really cool when did you guys link up they are they're like really cool well, they're dudes. yeah they're ohio uh natives and uh, steven over there he's from ohio oh yeah cincy yeah so it's he's not even the only one of my friends it seems like all my friends are from ohio so it kind of just naturally like happened right yeah they're super dope i still yeah, need to go to right ohio. rari's blowing up loki rari is coming up he's yeah yeah rari is his music speaks for itself it's really good the like, show's at the roxy yeah, it's at the Roxy. It's my first headlining uh, show ever. How did that wow. show come about? Who's like promoting it or whatever? Uh, Golden Voice. Oh, uh, they hit you up? Yeah, Golden yeah. Voice. Yeah, we work with them. Um, um, what's his name? Um, what's homeboy's name at Golden Voice? I'm going to say Gopi. But no, not Gopi. I don't know anybody in particular. Um, I just know it's like... I got a homie Voice. that I call that puts you on a list for shit. I'm sure he's the one that threw it. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> but... um. I mean, it's looking like it's gonna be insane. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, it's I a, mean that room be easy for y'all to fill up, man. Oh, easy. It's gonna be yeah. I'm I'm just excited because uh, it's like the first headlining show. I've always just been like you know. On, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So um, no, it's looking really cool. Can't wait That's to dope. see. Um, I just randomly heard the that song you made with Ghostman and Nicoletti. Oh my god, that Yo. was legendary. <laughs> that shit, I went like I was like scrolling and then like I passed it yeah. and then I went wait what? And then yeah, I, I know back it's, a, it's yeah. weird. And the cover art, uh, Coletti came up with the cover. It's just a Shamu like. Yo, that shit's fire as fuck <laughs> Thank though. You, man. Like, how did that even like? Uh, Coletti, this was a while ago too. Yeah. Before any side of type of like come up started happening. Yeah. Uh, Coletti just hit me. Coletti's super dope. And he was like, yo, come over. Uh, I'm making beats. I'm with Ghostman. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. I knew who Ghostman was. So we went over there, and it just naturally, we smoked a lot of weed, uh, drank a little bit of <laughs> liquor, and it, that song was uh, created. That's just so, all dude, mixed by Ghost, Ghost He's really fucking He's underrated dope. as a producer, Ghostman? I feel like. Oh, no, Coletti? I mean, yes. Yeah. He made the most fire beat in like 10 seconds. Yeah. He's hilarious for that. Dude, he's like, great. Were you were you big into Vine? Um. I feel like I got into Vine when it was dying. dying. Yeah. See, I don't know I about love, the Vine. I, but I know he was Vine. big. Because when yeah. I met Nick and Getter, it was yeah. like during that era, and we're like, "Oh, they're from Vine." I didn't know what it meant really. I love Vine. I never had. I, I like. I never it. had it. Yeah. I'm I didn't have it. it either, to be honest. But I, I knew like Coletti like was a big Vine figure. Uh, speaking of social media, do you? How important is like Twitter and Instagram and all that shit to you? Like your career? to like me personally or to my career? Both. Both. Yeah. Um. I like Instagram way more than Twitter because it's just more simple to use. I love Twitter though, but it's like it. It used to be like before, like a lot of like I got a, like a big following. It was like stressful because I was trying to get that big following. But like now that it's just kind of easier, it's way less stressful because I just you know 
just let things happen like I used to reply to DMs and stuff and now I just can't there's too many DMs so it's a lot less stressful I really like Instagram just like I said because it's simple you upload a picture you know you just yeah. but Twitter be <laughs> Twitter be testing everybody you know yeah. you got all the haters tweeting you and shit oh yeah, I mean, yeah. That's annoying. yeah so I try to like not see my mentions and stuff it's all love but it's like I just yeah. try to stay away from that people just like to fucking that negativity yap and shit and like you'll call I bet you if you called out one of those people they'd be like oh bro I'm, it's I'm, a, I'm a big fan it's like, literally I happened. just want like yeah it's just like why the fuck would you even like just want your dude? attention no, yeah, it's, it's literally like happened where I've, I've quote tweeted talking shit back and they're like oh, I was kidding bro I'm, I'm like come on yeah. man that means that um the way they grew up, they got negative attention from their parents. Exactly. Yeah, they, like they only like got attention when they got like a D on the report card. All right, let's take some calls. Uh, yeah, we've been Yo, ig- we've been num- ignoring. Let's put the number up on the oh, shit. Oh shit, I just missed it. We've been um, ignoring like twenty thousand <laughs> phone calls. Our producer accidentally left the link on his phone on, and he's been getting blown up yeah. all fucking day. All right, we'll take calls. Um, let's see. Is a relationship? Is a relationship? I just saw. Wait, here's a question. Take that call real quick. Is that a question? Wait. Call. Oh, there it is. Oh, handphone. Who this? Yo, you on the phone with uh, little Zan? What's up? Who the are you serious? F- yes. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hi. Um, I'm calling. You sound like I'm crying because I thought I wasn't gonna get you on the phone. You definitely got me on the phone. <laughs> oh my god. You got a question? Yeah. Yo, know, ask any question. I'm here. Huh. Just ask me a random question. Um, <laughs> I'll answer it. <laughs> you got any questions? She didn't think she was gonna get on the phone. What's your favorite little Zan song? Um, yes, we'll ask the question. <laughs> Damn, you nervous? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite little Zan song? We're asking the questions. Now. Betrayed. Betrayed. Good. That's a good one. How How did you hear How How did you hear of little Zan? Um. Well, it's funny because I seen like pictures of him around and yes, like on Instagram and stuff. And I didn't even realize he was a rapper. But <laughs> no, that's listening. a common. No, that's actually a common thing. They don't know I rap. They find me like do like just pictures. Like I've had a lot of people say like, I've seen you on the internet yeah. so much. And I'm like, dang, really? You have a pretty distinct. You yeah, <laughs> definitely <laughs> pretty distinct. Me a lot. Definitely pretty distinct uh, face. So, did you have any? Yeah. Did you have any kind of questions for Lil Zan? Um. Swag. Like besides music, what do you like best? Um, what do I like best? I like uh, long walks on the beach. And <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, clothes. I like making clothes. I think that's like the coolest thing clothes. right now that i'm doing is like i'm also doing music yeah but like also handling this whole like brand of xanarchy and i think it's just i know i cool. really want one of those hoodies but oh, yeah, with two babies i can't afford it and i'm just like I'm a, i gotta send she got two babies i gotta send you one then all right hit up your baby daddy <laughs> yeah <laughs> be like yo child support and a hoodie please. yo child support <laughs> and a xanarchy hoodie you know what the fuck. <laughs> yeah. all right thanks for calling in Stay yeah thank you appreciate it Yo, have you always been a ladies' man? Like, have girls always just naturally... Uh, Yeah, actually. I was, like, a really big nerd, but I still managed to, like... I don't know. They just always kind of yeah. gravitated towards me. Did you think once you got face tats, that helped? Oh, my God. I think it helped, like, 100%. <laughs> Do I need to get face tats? You need to get Whenever a face Whenever I'm around but... someone that's face tat, I have a lot of tattoos, but I don't feel tattooed. What do you mean? You def- when I'm around with I mean, somebody that has covered. face tats, I'm like, I don't feel that tattoo. Because so many That's people true. have, like, face tattoos. Now. I need to yeah. do it, dude. You, huh? you got it. I'm for this. It's how I fall in love. Adam that, needs a face tattoo. But he's going to do it for a different reason, though. Like, like, he, thinks, he thinks Trust. he's going to get a face tattoo, and then he's going to find the woman of his life. And that's not what's going to happen. <laughs> like, if you if you were to get it yeah. for, like, the pure sake of, like, yo, I think this is going to look tight. Or, I like, use it. I got tattoos all over. I yeah, but that's, that's, I know you. That's not the reason why you're face getting it. Face tattoo is going to get you the woman of the night. It's night. I uh, believe him. Oh, one of the night, yeah. I don't know. I have too many of those. You're too, you're too old for that. If you want to call, if you want to call, oh, uh, Chula Vista, ham phone, you're on the line with uh, uh, Little Zan and Anna in Romo. What's up, <laughs> Romo? I don't, know, I don't know why. Yo, I feel hello. Like that. What's up? Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yo, you're on, <laughs> they're yo, all so nervous. Yo, you're on the air with Little Zan. You got a question? You're live on the air, girl. Yeah, ask me anything. You so sexy. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's not really a question, but I appreciate you. Are you just hanging out with hella <laughs> girls? I feel uh, there's a lot of people in the background. Yeah. What are you doing right now? <laughs> All right, thanks for calling in. <laughs> much appreciate. People, if you're going to call in, have a question ready. So, the, bro- know- the broken <laughs> hearts, have you had your heart broken? Oh, yeah, like three times. Like three times? How old are you, bro? You're young. How old are you? I'm 21. You got heart broke already quickly. Yeah, that's kind of like where the, the aesthetic and the whole swag came from. It's just like... Do you think you've broken more hearts than, heart, oh, than your heart's been broken? Probably. Yeah, probably. I'd have to say, yeah. At this point, yeah, but before, no. What was, the, you, what was the last heart heartbreak? What what happened? Oh, it was, a lo- it was like a long time ago. It was probably like when I was like 19. Just some like... How long? Like, were you guys dating for a while and she like cheated? Like eight months shit? and she cheated on me with yeah. her coworker. Damn, How'd you find out she co-workers. cheated? She told me. Yeah, was it like she didn't want or some shit? Oh, so you, oh, it she, wasn't like you found out. No, she she, she like, didn't want to be in a relationship, so yeah. I was like super sad. So then, like, I went to her like house and like left her a bunch of like candy and shit. And then she oh. texts me saying, "Don't ever fucking do that again." Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, honestly, remember I had a what? similar thing no. happen with Amy. What? I tried to like give yeah. her um uh stuffed sheep because she like loved those. It was a little different sheep. And she said, "I don't need any more sheep." Same oh, shit. it's like the same shit, bro. Yeah. I mean, she didn't Heart, cheat on boys. you, though. I was like, okay. Yeah, but the girl before that did. <laughs> That's true. Uh, <laughs> and then we got back together and she cheated on me again, bro. Uh, well, you yeah. know, you got to maybe pick someone a little closer to your age. Um, <laughs> so do you feel like, do you fall in love like pretty like fast or like when you like definitely. Uh, get I definitely uh, have a tendency to. Uh, <laughs> I got to look at Steve to fall in love pretty quick. <laughs> what kind of girls do you fall in love with? Uh, hoes. <laughs> Definitely. No, really. So what shit. happens if a good girl try, is a try to you're just not into it? Oh, I'm all for a good girl. But usually, like, is it your instinct to fall? I'm all for a good girl, but there's not a lot of them right now, like, right. in my situation. So it's just I like, was going to say, like, do you find it hard? Because as a musician, like... It's hard to meet, like, genuine Yeah, because a lot of people that are around you are just there to get, like, party or, like, be yeah. like, on stage. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, they, they want the clout. They, they want to be on your Instagram. They want the picture. They, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They want to be on your Instagram and stuff. But, um, yeah. Should we? Uh, yeah, take the call. I think yeah. that was the same person who called in. Unless Weird there's other people. Because <laughs> wow. yeah. oh. uh, <laughs> you don't find, because, like, what I find is that the girls I end up getting attracted to are the ones that are, like, avoidant. Like, oh yeah Like there's hella girls That are down I'm like eh But then once there's one That's like not I'm like oh shit You're like that yes. I'm in love with her I want that one though. happened to you The one that's playing hard to get No it actually oh. it, it doesn't I'm actually, I have a girlfriend right now though Oh how long have you been With your girlfriend like, for Like uh, she's like a hometown love I've been with her for like uh, A year and two months Oh probably. that's a good situation oh, yeah. Someone that you've you known For a from while Empire before? Yeah she knew me Before all the that's Dope good. shit started happening So that's why it's like It's real You know it's yeah. real Um, She good. doesn't like She doesn't get jealous Since you have all these uh, Girl followers No now? she understands it she, At first it, Not so much But like she totally understands The game now yeah, so, so she's not gonna make you Like delete your Instagram Hell um, no that That's not allowed <laughs> No Jessica Uh, We got a call from Houston Yo you on the line With uh, little Zan What's up bro Hello Hello. <laughs> it's always the same thing. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah we, we can, can hear, you. hear you. You have any questions to ask me? Yes. I'm good. <laughs> They're always so nervous. <laughs> Yo, you out here giving girls heart attacks. I am. Sure. I'm out here breaking hearts. You got a question or no? <laughs> All right, thanks for calling in. <laughs> Yo, shout uh, out. Uh, oh, she about to ask um, Michaela Nicole. Yeah, she said I won't cheat on you. Yo, Michaela. Either will Jessica. Oh, she's still on the line. Wait, who's yeah, this? Wait, you got a question? What was your question? Hello. <laughs> Where's the pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I was curious. I was gonna have you before me, like photography and like other things. What was that? Like, my bad. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Hello? Like what the other person said. I don't know what she's... I can't hear. It's too much. It's too mumbly. Hey, I'm sorry, baby girl. We're not trying not to answer your call. I love you still. Don't worry. I love you. I'm confused. I'm like watching the Facebook live streaming like on the phone, so I don't know if it's echoing. Oh, that's better now. What was your question? Yeah, that's way better. Yeah, what was your question? (laughs) You're not my dad! (laughs) That's cool. (laughs) 
right. Uh, Thank uh, you. Ask the question on the on the live stream and we'll answer. Um, it's like hella hot under this flag. Yeah. Oh, I'm ad- I've, ad- I've, ad- ad- I've adapted to this. Shit, bro. Yeah, um, I guess it's pretty hot in the E. Cause it's like by the high desert. Oh my god, it's so hot out there. It's like ridiculous. I pray for winter. Uh, you um, what's the venue that I'm thinking of? Oh, Pomona is that by you? Glass House. Glass House. Yeah. Is that it's the a, thing you want to do like a headlining Glass House show? Oh, that would be dope. That's like some hometown shit. Yeah, right? Glass House is legendary. I really. Like, you gotta do. A, you gotta do. You gotta do a, a Glass House. They show, really bro. need to open up a venue like in like Redlands, where I'm from. I'm gonna try to do that. Like it's my hometown, Redlands. You should. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get a venue out there. Uh, what'd you grow up listening to? Like alternative rock, grunge music. Like what bands? Uh, Smashing Pumpkins, Dope. Arctic Monkeys, like early Arctic Monkeys, um, Arcade Fire. Like, have all. you ever heard of the Unicorns? No, it sounds. Uh, they're, so they're really dope. They went on tour with Arcade Fire. Oh, that's well, dope. they were like a really cool band. Like way when you probably were like six but then they um <laughs> negative six. They, but then they, <laughs> then they got back together to do a tour with arcade fire oh nice they're dope it's like really weird indie rock with like rock. um like kid yeah. kid casio it was in oh, a kid yeah. casio was a that's like rock. right up my alley i love <laughs> indie rock and like all that but yeah people like are like oh did you just come up off rap you know like did you always listen to rap no rap like i listened to like de la soul tribe growing up like all that good old school stuff but i got into rap kind of weird like like Reese, like three years ago. How'd that like, happen? I was watching MTV like four, four or five years ago. I was watching like MTV and ASAP Rock. One of ASAP Rocky's early like videos, it was like Peso, and I was like, "Whoa, this is like trippy." Because I'd kind of been away from the hip hop scene, so to come back into that, I was like, "Okay, hip hop's getting like weird, and I like it." Like, yeah, yeah. So it got me into it, and I just started listening to other stuff, like really underground SoundCloud shit. And then uh, it just, yeah, I just kind of got like a taste. Damn. So then uh, if Rocky's what got you into it, so how stoked were you when you found out you guys were Eskimo brothers? Oh, my God. <laughs> what does that about? mean? How I, no, brothers? I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, what's that? Show me. This is from an early. Show you what? They're, oh, like, you know the girl? <laughs> show, <laughs> you, show you that. <laughs> wait, let me go on, let me go on uh, wait, Bang Bros the, real wait, quick. who's uh, the girl? Who's the girl? The Man, pop, hey, call her out. Steve, <laughs> you remember that Brazilian chick? What she? At the old crib in Sherman Oaks. Yes, the one I ditched the him. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, she was like, she was so hot. Like, she was like probably still one of the hottest girls I've got. And she had hooked up with Rocky. Yeah, she before we had sex, she was like. So I'm gonna just yeah, let you know. I just, <laughs> kind of, kind of. I would have fucked my game up. Kind, like, not like, yeah. not like that. But she was like, she had an accent. I'm even gonna try to do her accent. But she was like, yeah, I was just with uh, Rocky a week ago. Yeah, we fucked. I was like, uh, it's not. Yeah, I don't know, Lil Xan, ASAP Rocky. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? You fucking up. <laughs> Yeah, she got, she, she got me down. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, that's hilarious. That's funny. Yeah, she was um, very attractive, though. <laughs> uh, there was also another story where you, when you met Sunny Digital in the studio, you were like super stoked on that. Oh, Sunny, are you talking about like the the first time I met him? Yeah, yeah, yeah I met yeah. him. Uh, Sunny's super dope. We got a song that hasn't dropped yet. Me, and Steven, and Sunny. Oh, dope. It goes so crazy, but yeah. Is, I, is there anybody else that you met that you oh, never Sunny expected? Oh, Sunny's the nicest. Oh, he's of super all those, nice. Like legendary, yeah. like trap producers. 2012 yeah, Sunny and up. is he's super so dope. fucking Like, if you nice. see you, genuinely go up to you and be like, hey, what up? Like, yeah, like, we met <laughs> yeah. him on the street at South, South by, Line, and he's yeah. like, the nicest, oh, what's up, dude? Like, oh, stop yeah, no, doing. Sunny, Sunny is He's super like a real-ass, regular person. Sunny is, like, just down-to-earth, humble. Like, I really respect it. Because, like you said, a lot of producers, super producers like that aren't yeah. really. But um, as far as you said, like, people, like, I'd be like, I want to meet. Or, like, yeah, people you'd never expected to, like, meet or, like, fuck uh, with you, and you're just like, oh, it's shit. Like, it's, like, almost, like, every day I'm kind of, like, like uh, meeting people that I never expected. Like Diplo, me and Diplo just did a song. Oh wow! How did that happen? Uh, he just hit me and sent me some beats and just went in there and he liked it. So what's he like in person? I actually like haven't him? met him in person. Oh, nah. crazy. But uh, I've been a Diplo fan since yeah. I was like a little kid. So to like work with someone that you went to a concert like when you were little, it's just like truly insane. It just lets you know like you're doing like good type of shit. Yeah, that's crazy. A track. Uh, I met him in Atlanta. He's super dope. He's a real nice dude, yeah, too. Yeah, it's, like, weird. All these, like, EDM, like, trap, like, DJs be hitting me, like, Marshmallow. Oh, Marshmallow just yeah. hit you up. Yeah, Marshmallow. What's that about? What'd he say? He's Wait, like, who is? Do we know who Marshmallow is now, or is it still Chris a Mello, secret? Uh, he's, like, a... He's super dope. He's, oh, I know who it is. We played his shit when we used to play EDM. Oh, he's... Yeah. So, it's official, like, he's, like... does We played his shit. Does he shit. still pretend that he's... Yeah. 
Oh wow, that's hard. That's crazy. No, so what he said when he hit you up. He just said I was like I I fuck with them. I was like yeah I fuck with you. And he was like yo likewise bro. Uh, I'm about to send you hella work. And I was like yes. Did he send it to you yet? Uh, Did he's, he make rap beats. What does this shit? Sound I don't like? know. I mean he can send me whatever, and I'm I'm gonna try to because I'm trying to do uh, like I'm trying to be like. I'm trying to play EDM festivals. Yeah, it's like trying to play the that's EDM. That's where the money's you know? at. Yeah, it's, really, it's and like the less drama. Oh, way less drama, yeah. and it can open the door to just a whole nother like fan. Yeah, you don't base. want to be pension holding some SoundCloud shit. No, that shit's on its way out. Definitely, I'm trying you know, to do like crossover shit. What's funny is you brought up uh, a, when well, I won't say the name. We tried to book someone, and they specifically didn't want SoundCloud rappers on the bill. Mm-hmm. I think that was smart. Like yeah, that's it's about like, to be a thing soon, or that's just like out the door. People don't, yeah. don't want to be associated with some SoundCloud shit. Yeah, um, it's crazy. You played A A three C. Atlanta? Did yeah. that happen? Uh, A-Track brought me out for Fool's Gold. Oh, I saw oh, you were playing on a show though with Lil B. Um, yeah, uh, the World Star show. Oh, what was that yeah, like? Was, Did you meet Lil B? No, um, we definitely didn't meet Lil B. I love Lil B. Like, bass, that, that shit is amazing. Like, um, but, um, no, nah, definitely that show it was the World Star Lil Pump Ski Mask. We killed that shit. Isn't but that I, crazy? But I was... Lil, Lil B, Lil Pump, Ski Mask, it was, Lil Xan. Bass crazy. as fuck, right? But yeah. how they gonna, um... Uh, Bill Little Pump ahead of Little B. That's it, crazy. Yeah, to me. that is. I would never do that. You gotta let the bass guy shine. Just I would re- never do just that. Just out of respect. It's All like right, the so bass. Um, say though, wait, 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 it's the bass guy. No, we just uh, we killed this like show. Like, but we were like exhausted, so we just dipped right after. We want to go back to the hotel because we. I mean, it was like we we left uh, to New York, then to Atlanta for four days, then to Chicago for four days. So we were just. What beat. happened in Chicago? Some shit went down. Oh, <laughs> at the meet and greet. Yeah, just what some, happened? some like. Where? Some like wannabe like thug kids just tried to like shut down a mean greet like. How do do that? They went in there and tried to like fight all of us, but that didn't work out for them. So they <laughs> they just got kicked out, and then they they fucked things up for the whole mean greet. So I had to go out there and you know like riot in the. How street. many kids were there? Like oh, there's a line around the corner. It, they they said uh, that shop has done other stuff with rappers, and they said the only other person that could put a line around the corner was Chance the Rapper. Oh, wow. Jesus, so, that's insane. Wow. Yeah, so they that's were crazy. yeah, so they were like, wow, this is insane that you have a line. What part of Chicago corner. is this in? Down downtown, I think, like literally right under. All was it like some real hood dudes or just some fake thugs? Fake thugs, fake internet thugs. They said that I was biting their swag. Oh yeah, God, God. get the fuck out! People yeah. need to like fucking, fucking like they're all old and like my fans are young, so it's like yeah. you take an L for showing up to my meet and greet. <laughs> like, like looking like being with a thug with some, jeans. yeah like looking looking like how <laughs> you look jeans. like i'm here for my fans on yeah that's funny. uh so this this person's been uh called from ohio has been on the line for two minutes <laughs> yo you're on the line with what's uh, up Roseanne. what's up bro hello <laughs> how you doing i'm good how are you i'm doing amazing um, i how old were you when you started like rapping and stuff and like writing it and like writing and rapping and all that i was uh 20 yeah i was yeah i was not that long ago i was definitely 20 i'd been like freestyling like like, (laughs) freestyling to myself in like my room alone since i was 16 but i started writing and uh rapping at 20. how much did steve um encourage you to rap oh my god 100 percent was, was Steve kind of like, yo, you should be a rapper? Or did you think of it? Uh, I, I already had, like, uh, the idea of being a rapper. But, I mean, like I said, it was all him. You know what I mean? He really pushed me to to keep at it. And that's, like, the, the most important thing is to keep at it. And so that's why, yeah, he helped me out the most. Yeah, Steven said, be a rapper. So I became a rapper. <laughs> Hell, yeah. You got any other questions? Um, And, like... I may have like face tattoos. Do they have any like specific meaning? Um, candy probably is uh is my mom's name. So that uh the three Z's because I was always sleepy and I thought it was like ironic to be Lil Xan and always sleepy and stuff. Uh, the mm-hmm. low because we used to go by Low Gang before Xanarchy. Um, and then the little heartbreak because you know I'm always heartbroken. <laughs> That's yeah. all. Yeah, that's like yeah, what, yeah. They all mean. What's the thirty-two on your neck? Lucky number. That's your lucky number. Yeah, everybody's like some gang shit. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's just my lucky number. <laughs> where um, did that come? Like, where did what? Where did I you just pull that see from? it everywhere. You know, it's like one of those numbers you just see yeah. and you just can't escape it. Like, yeah, that's like the thirty-two thing. You just see it everywhere. So that's I said, it. fuck it, I'm gonna tattoo it on my body. 
That's crazy because the number to call in is yeah. three two. Yeah, oh. you see what I mean? It's everywhere. <laughs> and ninety divided by two uh, <laughs> minus three uh, equals. <laughs> All right, thanks for calling in. Do you yeah, have a so shout much. out or anything? All right, thank you. Bye. All right. Damn, okay. Bye. Just like that. Just uh, that was from Ohio? Yeah, that was from Ohio. What? Someone, yo, someone posted their phone number on the chat. You better delete that. You can get hella prank You're going to get spammed. <laughs> <laughs> she said, call me. Yo, she's getting serious. Alexandra, spam. you better delete that. Oh, her name's Alexandra. They think I'm Alexander. Damn. Uh, so what <laughs> you got coming up? Um, we got a, a mixtape dropping pretty soon, like in the next upcoming months, and uh, it's like what's my the, first. What's the mixtape about? It's it's like just total. I mean, it's named Total Xanarchy, so it's like. I love that. It's so dope. Yeah, because I, I dropped a tape earlier. It was called Xanarchy, so now it's Total Xanarchy. <laughs> We're up in this shit. Yeah. Uh, better production uh, overall. I'm not saying my other music was bad. It was great. But, I mean, this is going to be, like, showing people, like, I'm an artist. Like, that's the best thing about this is I'm going to show people I can do this and I can do that. And I'm not just uh, stuck to one type of music. So it's going to be real cool. Like, who are you getting production-wise on it? Um, I'm sticking pretty close to the, my team. You know, like, uh, DJ Fu, he's uh, Ear Drummers. Um, Bobby Johnson has a lot of production on there. Danny Wolf. Just people like uh, that I fuck with in real life. You gotta get one of those crazy like um, a track or Diplo. Oh, or and yeah, we're gonna get like a Diplo. We're gonna you, get some. You gotta tell Diplo that shit could. Oh, only and go Arnold, on your, yeah, and so that shit could only go out on your mixtape. Yeah, it, it's gonna go crazy. Tell him, tell him that shit. What? That, that no, not, Axel, he not, getting all the good. Not, <laughs> tell not that mother. Call himself. Diplo right now. Let that motherfucker know that it's going on your. Yeah, yeah you already know. Your, to save it just for your shit. Oh, it's going. It's definitely you going. Di- you hear that, Wes? <laughs> he said Wes. Shout out I Diplo. Seen, I just seen Gabe was just with him. He grew his hair long. Who did? Uh, Diplo. Oh, and he dyed it. Yeah, it looks weird. It said, uh, what I saw, it said, listen to Little Peep once, and then he got long. <laughs> He's my age. Can I, can I bleach my hair, you think? You could totally yeah, do Yeah, we're the same age. I feel like I could do that now. You should totally get a face tat and bleach your hair. <laughs> I'm having a midlife crisis. Don't encourage him. Please don't encourage him. Just get it. I've been low-key thinking about bleaching my hair or dying of purple. But no. anyways. Um, <laughs> dying of purple? No. Bro, do not get purple hair, dog. No, the girl that does my hair. That time has like passed. They said that time has passed. <laughs> no. A strand of purple? Don't worry, dude. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> You're gonna find the love of your life when you have with the head. one strand. The one strand. It's hot in this motherfucker. Um, cool. So then, fucking. Oh, show Saturday. The rock. Yes. I don't want to promote it too much because we have a show Saturday too. But oh, limited. competition. <laughs> Ooh. No, for real, if you're a little Zan fan, make sure you go to that man, a little Zan, Steve Roxy, Cannon, yeah. Insomniac, Rari, Insomniac, uh, Lambs. Yeah, yeah. Insomniac. Is it sold out already though? It's about to be. Hell yeah. So, so get there. your tickets right now if you want to go. Now. Yeah. So yeah, the Roxy uh, Saturday. I want to see everybody in if LA. If it's sold out and you can't make it, just holler at him. You know we got the Ant- yeah, we got the Antoine stop, call stop, heart. Doug. They'll let uh, you in the back. Doug. <laughs> Yo, shout out Lexi. She said she's called two hundred times now. Sorry, we couldn't get you. Wait, call. Lexi, call right now. That's not what in the show. Well, I'm yeah. not gonna know. Lexi, which one. call. Lexi, call. Lexi, Lexi call. shout out Lexi. I appreciate you. She's gonna do it right She's now. She's probably crying right now. Lexi, don't fuck that. this up. <laughs> mm. Lexi she said, "Lexi, don't fuck this uh, up." Oh, let's see. All right, this is. Lexi. I'm gonna hang up if it's not Lexi. Are you is, Lexi? Is this Lexi? Do it. No, but I'm a different Lexi. Oh, oh your name is oh, Lexi. Oh, wow. All right. All right. Plot twist. That Plot works. twist. Yeah, Hello. It's a different Lexi. <laughs> it's fine. You got a question for those in? Like you lying. Yeah, ask me a question. Um, well, first, I really want to say that I love you so much. And Thank I you so you much. I love you, too. I love you so much. I appreciate and, you. Um, and what's your favorite song, like, out of all your songs? What's your favorite song? Uh, that's, like, my favorite? Song. That's a good, uh, Pink Roses. Yeah, Pink <laughs> Roses is my favorite. I, I just want to say I love you so much, and I bought, like, two Xanarchy sweatshirts. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, too. Bye. Okay. Different Lexi, but damn. Uh, you cool. know who you should link with? Who? It'd be weird because I was thinking about you saying you're into indie rock and who has yeah. a similar following. Um, you and Kuko should do some music together. I've heard that name. Kuko's before. super dope, dude. Is it? You guys should do something together. Is it's he like, an LA artist? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He's, he's more from, like he's like probably from Atlanta, but where's he from? Indie singing. Where's he from? Somebody. Johnny. <laughs> Nobody. Do you know where Kuko's from? I want to say he's out from from out here. I just don't know where specifically. He's from East LA or is he from? Oh LA? yeah, y'all gotta make that happen. I'm yeah. down. He's dope. Oh, no, Huntington Park maybe? No, 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 Huntington Park. Huntington Park. 
Anyways, he like makes indie stuff, and it's also heartbreak shit, and he has oh. a lot of girl fans. It sounds and I perfect. I feel like you guys yeah. would do something really cool. How do you, together. It's like a K or C. Uh, C U C L. I'll link you guys. Oh, on, yeah, on a dog. DM. Yeah, link me. And his beats are like his beats are like cool and really like indie sounding, but yeah. you can still rap on them. Y'all should definitely link up. Yeah. I'm oh no, we're definitely too. gonna do that. Oh, that's probably Lexi. Let's do this. In one um, all right. Oh, never mind. Uh, all right, Lexi, so if at, that was you, I'm sorry. <laughs> at the end of the show, we do uh, like picks that we think people should listen to. Uh, like songs, new songs that we think people should listen yeah. to. So we're going to go down this way. If you want to tell the people what, what you think they should listen to, then uh, I got you. I this got is your you. time. Uh, so I guess I'll go first. I did Xavier Wolf and Bones just dropped a track called Crash Landing. I hopped on the ship with the woods lit. You trying to get a hit, you can't forget about it. Forget about it. That shit is fire. I mean, it's you know classic sesh hollow 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 water boy. How is it? I, it's fucking tongue twister. Hollow water, water, water boy. Hollow hollow water boy. Cha cha hollow water boys. They're about super to be on dope. tour. Yeah. They're on tour. Shout out to Xavier, man. He's also one of the fucking nicest people. We've been fucking with him forever. He's always oh, been consecutive. Conse- 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 what the fuck can you talk? Consecutively, <laughs> like consistent and nice. Yeah, Even though he like blew up and shit, like he's like the, one of the rare ones where we can like. The same with Eddie and same with Chris. Yeah, well, all of them. They're super. Yeah, nice. Well, I don't guys. know the other dude. Who's the other dude? Bones. Yeah, he won't. Bones. Bones won't respond to shout us. Shout out Bones. Um, Bones my pick, but shout out Bones. I really do fuck with him. I do too. Um, oh, that was produced by TM88, by the way, who was just on the show. He was super dope. Oh really? Wait, TM88 produced a Xavier Wolf Bones song. No, I just lied. That was the other track uh, I mentioned. Yeah, I was about to say oh, that's that's pretty psych? crazy. That was psych. Pretty, I was like, mind, that's pretty mind. crazy. That was the that was the Wakamole song. Hold on, have you ever seen? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen? Um, you know, they probably have one on you. Where, like the evolution of rappers, those kids in those no, YouTube videos. Be, no, oh, I've there's one it. on Bones, and they show they show him in like 2012, and he's like very um, uh, what's a rapper I'm thinking of that's like very hip hoppy and fashiony. Hip hoppy and fashion. Who am I thinking of? Hip-hop-y. Every rapper starts with a K. Kid something. <laughs> Kid <laughs> Supreme. Hey. In the eighties, mad different. And then who am I thinking of? Kid Cudi. God damn it. Uh, Kid he's, Cudi. Like, he's like on his Kid Cudi shit. And then something happens like in 2012. Someone's like, "What the fuck happened to this fool in 2012?" <laughs> Anyways, um, my pick was Flex Music by Big Baby Scumbag who was just here earlier. He's really dope. Top drop, got the block hot like it's hopscotch. Knock, knock, pull up on a nigga like a piss knock. Wrist watch, watch it tick tock. Bitch, I get caught. Flip flop, this that Flex Music, this ain't hip hop. You have a pick? Uh, I'm not just saying this, but uh, Stephen Cannon Insanity. I'm not just saying that, bro. That song is hard. <laughs> Stephen Cannon Insanity. Y'all Check gotta that. fuck with that song, bro. Hell yeah. Goody? Yo, pick? mine's uh, for Halloween and shit. Friday the 13th, Little Wolf. I think Sweet. one of you all reposted oh, that, that shit. Oh, that Little Wop song is crazy. Yeah. crazy. Little, that, crazy. That's, gonna, that's my Halloween joy like, for, for this It's year, a spooky real. song. Yeah. Shout so, out Lil Wop. Have you, have you linked up with Little Wop? Oh, yeah. That's that's a good friend of mine, Lil Wop. Does yeah. he live in LA? Uh, I think he told me he's about, yeah, he lives in uh, here now. He just oh, moved. Cool. But uh, we, I was just with him in Atlanta. He's a super, super cool guy. Cool. His yeah. voice but is that, crazy. That song is fire for sure. No, it is. Shout yeah. out Lil Wop. Yeah. Hey, Friday the 13th, I got a Cuban link. Then that first fucked up my brain, I think I need a strength. Hey, I'm the drug. Michael Myers, killer, I don't speak. Hey, I can't stand up, bitch, that bitch, that bitch, that bitch have a seat. Sick. Well, that was Ham Radio. Thank you for coming through, man. Much appreciated. Thank you for having me. Guys, this will be on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, We'll be back. I'm not sure when, but just follow us on Twitter at Ham on Everything. Yeah. Peace.